Oligbo calls for Nam Dikanu's immediate release as Governor Alex Otti reveals sponsors of insecurity in Abia state. Oligbo calls for Nam Dikanu's immediate release amidst economic hardship in Nigeria. Renowned political figure and former Anambra state governorship aspirant Ike Oligbo has made a passionate appeal to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration for the immediate release of Nanamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipob, who has been in detention since 2021. This renewed call comes as Nigeria grapples with widespread economic hardship and growing insecurity, particularly in the southeast region. In a statement issued to the press, Oligbo, an influential business mogul and advocate for justice, highlighted the potential dangers of Namdi Kanu's prolonged detention, warning that it could further destabilize the country. He emphasized that the eastern region often feels marginalized in the Nigerian political structure, and keeping Kanu in detention only deepens feelings of bitterness and alienation among the youth. The continued detention of Namdi Kanu serves no purpose other than to foment resentment and anger, particularly among the younger generation in eastern Nigeria, Oligbo stated. The federal government must rise above intimidation and call the bluff of those issuing threats over Kanu's release. Justice demands fairness, and the charges against Kanu have proven difficult to substantiate. Keeping him detained any longer is unwarranted and unjust. Oligbo also drew attention to the dire economic situation in the country, stating that millions of Nigerians are facing untold hardships due to inflation and a dwindling economy. He argued that this is the wrong time for political gamesmanship, especially when it involves a matter as sensitive as Kanu's welfare and the unity of the nation. Amidst the current economic hardship, this is not the time to play politics with people's lives. The government must demonstrate leadership by taking decisive actions that prioritize national unity and progress. Releasing Namdi Kanu is a step towards healing and reconciliation, Aligbo concluded. His call adds to the growing pressure on the federal government to adopt a more reconciliatory approach to the southeast crisis, with many advocating dialogue as a solution to the region's persistent insecurity. Gov Otti reveals sponsors of insecurity in Abia State. Governor Alex Otti of Abia State has said opposition politicians in connivance with some external parties were behind the growing insecurity and criminality in the state. Like other parts of the southeast, Security appears to have deteriorated in the Abia state in recent times, with frequent attacks by armed persons. Last Wednesday, gunmen killed two Nigerian soldiers at a checkpoint on the Umwahia Oweri Road in Ekeneobizi community, in Umwahia, south local government of the state. Also, a police operative was killed on Sunday in Abia state, when gunmen attacked the convoy of a Nigerian lawmaker. The Nigerian government has repeatedly accused the indigenous people of Biafra Ipobi of being behind the deadly attacks. However, Ipob, a group agitating for secession of southeast and south-south from Nigeria, has denied any involvement in the attacks. Sole agenda. But reacting in a statement on Monday by his media aide, Ferdinand Ikeoma, Mr. Otti claimed that his administration has now firmly established through tip-offs from residents that the attacks were being sponsored by opposition politicians in the state, not IPOB. The governor said the unnamed opposition politicians began sponsoring the violence since the end of May this year. The sole agenda is to cause disaffection and distract the government from its focus on the development of the state. This strategy kicked in as they realized that their initial efforts at churning out lies and fabrications against the government in pretentious posturing as opposition has failed to gain currency amongst Abia people who have thoroughly ignored them and their antics since they know the truth, he said. Mr. Otti said also the state government has been noted for its peaceful and non-violent disposition. It would not yield to blackmail or intimidation. It needs to be understood that the government will not sit idly by and watch any person or group of persons unleash violence on innocent and peace-loving citizens of the state, he stated. We will smoke them out. Mr. Otti stressed that the state government would come hard on the sponsors of the insecurity and violence to smoke them out of the state. The governor boasted that his administration was prepared and equal to the task of safeguarding the lives and property of Abia residents. He announced that a counter-offensive has now been launched by the government to decimate every structure of terror erected or being erected in any part of Abia state by criminals. 
Mr. Rotti urged residents to cooperate with the government and security operatives to stamp out criminals in the state. Government wishes to strongly warn that anyone that attempts to play politics with the lives and property of innocent Abians should be ready to face the consequences, as the government will no longer tolerate such acts, no matter who is behind them, he said. The governor asked community leaders and traditional rulers to be vigilant and report suspicious activities to the law enforcement agencies for appropriate actions. He also called on parents and guardians to monitor activities of their children and loved ones in order to ensure they do not indulge in any form of criminal activity in the state. Stay tuned for more updates. I'm very worried about it, knowing that that has been the fulcrum, I would say, for what is going on in the South is regarding the insecurity. All the criminals and all the people going around causing mayhem in the southeast have all said that it is because Mazen Namdekan is being held. We know that this is not the truth. It's just that we have gotten to the point where people are now uh, hijacking a legitimate call for his release and turning it into something that has led to deaths and um, destruction of properties and um, so many other undescribable mayhem that is going on in the Southeast. And so we came to meet with the Minister of Justice and Attorney General because we know that at the end of the day, Everything that happens in the political, uh, in the legal scheme will eventually come to his office. And we came to appeal to him to um, help us to let Mr. President know that all leaders of the Southeast feel that the release of Mazen Nam De Kano will help in dousing all the tensions and everything that is going on in the Southeast. And we are very, very certain that his duty as the Attorney General also gives him the powers of knowledge prosecute, the powers of um, making sure that litigation don't continue and the sufferings of the people of the Southeast continue. That is the essence of why we came here.